Okay, so I go to my former employer, Nordstrom's. Sure. And I'm just going to call them out because you know what? John Nordstrom's, I need you to get on line one. Ka- uh, this is one of the one, like the one of many things I loved about working at Nordstrom's. Great customer service. Uh, I went to get a lip gloss. No one in, no Bobby Brown, no Chanel, no Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, I could have stole from the store and they would have noticed. I asked a guy but in we the don't men's department. Donut. <laughs> no, don't condone it. But that's the only way that I'm going to get anyone to c- come after me is by stealing stuff at this point, because I'm literally looking around. I, I was, again, we reference it all the time, the pretty woman. I have all of this and I just need a dress for dinner tonight. I was like, I want, a cocktail. so I grabbed this girl and she was so cute. I go, I know this, I know you work off commission. Are you ready to make a lot of money? I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need right. this. And she was so great. She was like following me around. I said, now write down my credit card number. Call me if you have any issues because I was running from one thing to the next. Now, if I'm in that situation as a former employee, I'm stoked. Nobody wants to work anymore. I was in the lingerie section buying pajamas and the girl's not even wearing a bra. We talked about it on the pregame, but I'm telling you, Tell me it's this. just it's Get into crazy. this. What kind she, of shirt I, is she wearing not to wear a bra? And she's are we wearing, loose and free or did she we think are, she didn't need one? What's going on? We are loose and free. And as a gal that didn't wear a bra for most of her life because I didn't have enough to wear a bra, I realized the effects. And now I'm looking for a lift. And now we're getting a consultation. Yeah. And now I'm having sure. people like you be like, oh, you don't need one. I'm not looking for an augmentation. I'm just looking for a little perk, perk, perk it up. Well, I yep. wanted to tell this girl, this sweet young associate working Maybe in the lingerie department. Maybe we could get you department. a free one like we did with your LASIK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Does anyone want to go ahead and sponsor the Calm Down podcast and give me a little perk in my cup? The, the, the lack of a B cup and maybe only an A cup over here. Either way, she the city had her perk. cups everywhere. She was not wearing a bra. And I was like, look, I'm cool, but like you're working in the lingerie section. You're working at a store. Your nipples are hard. The air conditioning's blowing strong in here. And now I'm distracted. So now I'm creeping. Now I'm looking and I don't want to. And now I'm thinking to myself, I can't even ask you for suggestions Did I on say a bra. Nipples? You're not wearing Did I say nipples. You can't see the line, can you, Russ? You know, seriously. Mary, I wish Mary was working at the lingerie counter because she no definitely shit. wore a bra. I mean, come on. So we don't even have to wear bras to work anymore. Wonder if we just showed up on air without a bra. I mean, uh, come on. There is a time and a place, lady. No so one would want to see me do that. Customer, so. <laughs> customer <sighs> services went to shit. I can't get any help. And all I want to do is buy some gifts. And then, you know, I, I got to admit, my patience level is very little to begin with. And it's something I'm working on. But right now, like, follow along. You want to make some money here or you don't want to make some money. You can see I'm a gal on a mission. <clears throat> so that's where I'm at. I'm going 100 miles an hour and I need to calm the f- down. <laughs> 